A three-stage phase shift oscillator with buffer stages for practical reason is shown here. The question is, can we design the circuit in a way that the oscillation in blue sinusoidal oscillation happens in a stable fashion at V out? And then what is the frequency there? And then why we have why should we need VC over 18? Why do we need VC over 18 at the positive input terminal of the first stop and for the proper DC bias of this circuit, assuming we are using single supply design? So we have VC and ground for the pin, supply pins of the op amps shown here. So I'm not doing, I'm not designing um, the circuit using two supplies. It's a single supply design. Let's make the assumption that we do the supply and uh, we do the biasing properly so that all these three op amps are in linear region, not saturated. Let's focus on loop gain and find the condition of oscillation. Okay, so V out at the output goes back to input via this bo uh, bottom wire and then appears at the beginning of RG. Now let's focus on the first circuit that is shown here. By that, I mean the inverting amplification over here. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, V out is at, is at the input of this inverting amplifier and we want to find V1 at the output. At the positive input terminal, the AC voltage is zero. It's just the DC voltage. So AC wise, it's zero. Now, because you're making the assumption that AC wise of amp is properly biased in linear region because of mutual short, AC should be zero also at uh, the negative input terminal. So we can write a simple KCL that says the current goes through RG should be the same current that goes through RF because no current can go through input negative terminal of the ideal op amp. So let me just uh, write down a simple KCL. So the current through RG should be equal to the current through RF and that means V out minus zero divided by RG should be equal to zero minus V1 at the output of op amp divided by RF. And this gets us to what we already are familiar with, which is the gain of inverting setup for an ideal op amp is uh, output to input gain is in the form of negative feedback resistor RF divided by input resistor RG. Okay, so that's the equation number one. Let's keep it. Equation number two, we get to V1 and then let me change the color. We get to, from V1, we get to V2 at the output of this RC setup and uh, it is just the RC voltage division. It's a low pass passive filter. And uh, you can see that what we have is simply V2 over V1 is equal to, let's do the sinusoidal steady state analysis for which the impedance of cap ZC is just one over JC omega. So I have one over JC omega divided by R plus the impedance of cap one over JC omega which if we clean it up, it become one over one plus J R C omega. So let's keep this as equation number two. Okay, now this V2 enters a buffer, ideal buffer, and because we're making the assumption for sinusoidal steady state analysis that this is properly linearly biased because of the mutual short, whatever appears at the input positive terminal should be also at the input negative terminal, which via this wire goes to the output. This V2 is the input of another RC, which is buffered from the other stage, so previous stage is not loading it, and V2 goes to V3. So for the same reason, let me change the color now, for the same reason we can write relationship between V3 and V2 as exactly what is written here. So 1 over 1 plus JRC omega, that's equation number 3. Now, for the same as, uh, reason, V3, assuming that the third op amp is also linearly biased, gets to the output because it's just a buffer. And then we have final output V out, another RC voltage division between V3 and V out. So for the same reason, I can write V out over V3 is equal to 1 over 1 plus JRC omega, and then equation number 4. Now, we started from V out, we looped back and got get back to V out. This is the, therefore the loop gain is simply, as you can see from equation one, two, three, four, the loop gain is simply, uh, the loop gain is simply the product of, the pro the product of, okay, I'm I'm trying to change the color so that you can see it. The loop gain is simply the product of negative RF over RG, one over one plus JRC omega, 
1 over 1 plus jrc omega and another 1 over 1 plus jrc omega so using so basically what i'm trying to say is loop gain in this circuit loop gain using equations 1 2 3 and 4 is equal to just negative rf over rg times 1 over 1 plus j rc omega to the power 3 and we're talking about uh, frequency of oscillation at this specific frequency that oscillation is stable and happening so when i say omega naught or omega zero i mean frequency of oscillation okay this is the whole loop gain if you're supposed to have a stable oscillation the loop gain is one because we start from v out and we loop back and we get back to v out it should be one if it is less than one oscillation dies down if it is more than one oscillation is unstable it would go exponentially high theoretically speaking and then the circuit will saturate so we need to set this loop gain equal to plus one okay so um, here's the deal there is a there is a magnitude aspect into this there is a phase aspect into this because we are dealing with a complex number that is highlighted here this is a complex number uh, this is a complex number, so you're dealing with magnitude and phase involved here. Okay, um, as you can see, we need to get to a positive number, but we have a negative value here. So this, the phase of this complex value in, in, the, in, in the center should be 180 degrees so that it can it generate a negative one that would cancel out with the other negative and generate a positive for us. So what I'm trying to say is, if this complex number is, say, um, just name it x, or z however you want to name it z then what i'm trying to say is phase of z should be equal to 180 degree or pi okay what is phase of z phase of z is simply uh, look at the denominator the uh, let's start from the phase of denominator that's easy to see so phase of one plus j rc omega zero without power of 3 is equal to uh, tangent inverse or inverse tangent of rc omega the complex part divided by real part which is 1 okay that's for the denominator but then denominator is raised to the power 3 so phase of the den denominator is 3 times this value but then denominator is, is denominator not numerator so therefore what I can say the phase of z is equal to negative inverse tangent or tangent inverse of rc omega naught times 3. Okay, and this has to be equal to pi, as is shown here. Okay, so what is the consequence of this? Consequence of this is we need, it doesn't matter how we, we say it, positive pi or negative pi. What we need is, uh, let, let's put it this way, negative and positive pi is the same thing. So just to make it easier, I'm going to just set this one to negative pi because negative pi and positive pi result in the same negative value that I'm interested with. So it means that uh, ta tangent inverse of RC omega is pi over 3 and from this the conclusion that we get is rc omega naught equal to rad 3 square root of 3 that's the most important thing because this is effectively telling us that uh, omega naught is square root of 3 divided by rc so we found the frequency but more important than that let's rewrite the whole thing so loop gain I'm going to rewrite the loop gain. Okay, so loop gain using equation 5 is equal to negative RF over RG times this thing will generate for us a negative 1 for us. And then what we get, we will see. What we get is what we get 1 over 1 plus j 
So RC omega naught should be equal to rad 3. So rad 3. So this should be equal to 1. And uh, 1 over 1 plus j rad 3 effectively is this. And to the power 3. I forgot about the power 3. I need to clean this up. Okay, now it is rad to the power. So 1 plus j rad 3 to the power 3 equal to plus 1. When you set this up, you will see that um, this generates for us uh, a j. So if you want to simplify that, it becomes negative rf over rg times, and then you would get a j squared, and then you would get rad, uh, you would get 2 to the power 3 because that's the 2 is the amplitude of 1 plus j rad 3 amplitude of 1 plus j, j rad 3 is 1 plus rad 3 squared which is 2 and then we have power 3 so this should be equal to 1 now the nice thing is this j squared generate a negative 1 for us would cancel out this one and as a result we get what exactly wanted so rf over rg should be equal to Eight. So that's the that's the required gain in the loop as a condition of oscillation, so that we enforce that the loop gain is one. Okay. So we are five and six. We found the answer to the question in terms of gain. So R F over R G should be eight for the gain of first stage, and then. Omega naught should be rad 3 divided by RC. So if you're asking me what is the F of oscillation or F0, I'm going to write it on top. So F0 or F of oscillation is rad 3 divided by 2 pi RC. Because uh, F is F naught is omega naught divided by 2 pi. Um, so that's from equation number 5.